The day after standing maskless on the White House balcony before a crowd packed shoulder to shoulder, Donald Trump today in an interview on Fox News made clear that when it comes to him and COVID... Looks like I'm immune for, I don't know, maybe a long time or maybe a short time. It could be a lifetime. Nobody really knows, but I'm immune. Just days after being released from hospital after treatment for COVID, Trump's doctor released a statement overnight saying the president is no longer contagious. He did not say Trump had tested negative. Trump tweeted, that means I can't get it and I can't give it. But Twitter then promptly attached this warning to Trump's tweet, suggesting the president may be spreading misleading and potentially harmful information. All of it, with the president sliding further in public opinion polls, not least over his handling of the pandemic. President Trump is recovering from the coronavirus. So consider this new ad from the Trump campaign with what seems to be a high-profile endorsement of Trump's response to the crisis. I can't imagine that anybody could be doing more. Except Anthony Fauci, lead White House scientist on COVID, says his words from months ago were taken out of context, that he was speaking broadly about federal officials, not the president. It's clear Trump is keen to signal personal and political strength. After that campaign-style event yesterday, Trump, now self-describing as immune from COVID, will stage rallies this week in multiple states. That begins tomorrow in Florida, a state that's lately been expecting another COVID spike. Still, says Trump, he feels great. Immunity, he said this morning, means having a protective glow. And to have that, he said, is important.